Hi everybody and welcome to the doghouse. That is the basketball home of the Fort Bend Austin Bulldogs who are starting their District 26A schedule tonight against the Travis Tigers here on VipeFortBend.com. I'm Roger Smith, so glad that you are with us for what is the second of two games that we're doing here on the night of December 17th. And for a lot of teams in Fort Bend ISD, it'll be the last time to see basketball. We'll step aside and be back and set you up for this game between Travis and Austin on VipeFortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12 6 Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity 600 megabits per second to AT&T 500 megabits per second, each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10 6 Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. And now, the starting lineup for the visiting Travis Tigers. Number two, Alex Martinez. Number five, Cameron Carter. All right, everybody, welcome Number back three. in. Our coverage tonight brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome by First Tire and Automotive. They have four great locations in Fort Bend County, on Eldridge Road in Sugarland, in Greatwood, First Colony, and also Katie Cinco Ranch. All locations open Monday through Saturday. And for the best tires, the best prices on tires, as well as the best value on service for anything your car needs to run its absolute best, Go to firsttireandauto.com. We're also brought to you by Archer Volkswagen. They're on the southbound side of the Southwest Freeway, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. They've been open since 1956, and they're ready to serve you at Archer Volkswagen. You will feel like family when you're there. We're also brought to you by the Needville Insurance Agency. Hey, you've got teenage drivers. You've Number got preteens who are going to be driving someday. Go, go. You've got to get the very best value on your insurance, both for your car Number and, and not just for your car, but also Junior for your home. Season. And Bradley go, go. Stavanon, the team at Needville Insurance Agency, can shop all kinds of Number carriers 24. and get you the very Junior. best rate. Michael so Waterman. make sure that you take advantage of that great opportunity at the Needville Insurance Agency. Well, earlier tonight, we had a win by the Bush Broncos in their District 26A open opener. The boys from Bush won 55 to 43 over Dulles. And so Bush is 1-0, and now one of these teams needs to win its opener and stay in a tie for first place at the end of the action tonight. So it's the Travis Tigers who come into this game with a record of 11 and seven, and the Austin Bulldogs are at nine and six. And things are going so well for Christopher Owar in his second year as the Bulldogs head coach and Craig Brownson, who has been at Travis for several seasons. They are perennial playoff contender are the Travis Tigers and the Austin Bulldogs trying to do that tonight. We are set up at the end of the Austin gym. And in the first quarter, the Austin Bulldogs will shoot at the opposite end of the court. And the Travis Tigers, wearing the road grays, will shoot at the basket right in front of us. So it is the Austin Bulldogs first with Tylen Harris. 
running things as the point guard. Sends it over to Mike Baines in the right corner. Passes up a shot. Now Ethan Toe between the rings. Sends it over to the left corner, and it's Harris. Harris goes into the paint, and Ethan Toe with a three-pointer from the top of the key. It's no good, but the putback is good by Mike Baines. And the Bulldogs are on top, and here come the Travis Tigers. They get it inside to one of the Martinez twins. You got Zach Martinez, number 10, who scored right there, and his brother Alex is number two. A fine pair of guards who came out of the womb on the same day. Now Ethan Toe across the midcourt stripe, sends it over to the right to Tylen Harris. Harris kills his dribble and moves it back to the middle of the court and gets it to Baines. Baines, Harris, and Toe have been the ones to handle the ball so far. Driving the base now, baseline now kicking it back to Bryant Anuni. The center gives it off to Harris, I'm sorry, Job Ogunlier, who misses the backdoor layup. And the score says two to two. Yeah, it's two to two. Travis and Austin here in the early game of the, the early going of their district opening game. Toe goes down, heavy contact. Jason Juanetti knocked him down, but Travis does get the basket as they get the ball in the hands of Cameron Crockett, and he scores. It is now four to two, Tigers on top. Ethan Toe driving into the left corner, now reverses his field, being guarded by Alex Martinez. Now the handoff to Baines. Baines with some nifty dribbling, and he jumps, sends it out to Toe in the right corner. No good, off the back iron, and it's grabbed by Zach Martinez. Now Travis launching a three on their possession, and it's Juanetti who bombs away and scores to make it 7-2. Tigers on top. Austin wearing the home whites quickly into the forecourt. Black numerals outlined in red, and the ball goes out of bounds. And Austin thought that Alex Martinez of the Tigers last touched it, but the officials ruled that it was last touched by one of the Bulldogs. 7-2, Travis on top. Zach Martinez moves it across the timeline. Now gets rid of the ball, gets it in the hands of Cameron Crockett, pulls up at the top of the key, good! Swish, and that is a two-pointer. Correction, it's a three. It's a triple, and it makes it 10-2, Travis. And Christopher O'War and the Bulldogs need to talk it over. We'll be back on VipeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Coming up on Monday afternoon at 1 p.m., we'll have the Hightower Hurricanes taking on the Foster Falcons. This is our second game broadcast of the basketball season here on VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County sports. Quickly into the forecourt, go the Bulldogs, trailing 10-2. Now they get it outside to Tylen Harris who drives into the paint, now reverses it, has it back in the circle, toe in the left corner and a pass is loose on the floor, poked away by Travis, but Austin does control, toe, triple toe from the left corner. That brings it to 10 to five and now Juanetti, he launches a three from the left side for Travis but the rebound grabbed by Zach Martinez. And there's a quick score from inside. Martinez somehow ended up with a loose ball and got the put back to make it 12 to five. Travis on top. Now Tylen Harris driving into the forecourt for the Austin Bulldogs. Almost gets trapped in the corner. Now Baines driving into the paint and loses the ball as he gets deep into the paint. But Juanetti evidently fouled him on the floor. Yes, the foul is the first personal on Juanetti. Jason Wanetti spells his last name N-W-A-N-E-T-I, but the first N is silent. Baines, it's a two-shot foul. I thought it was a foul on the floor, but it was a shooting foul, and he hits the first one to make it 12 to six. Now, Job Ogunlier comes out of the game for Austin. I didn't quite spot who 
who came in for him. That was Noah Vire. Second free throw was no good, and in the battle for the rebound, it went out of bounds. Last touch by Austin. So now the Travis Tigers have it. Cameron Crockett dribbling between the rings. Now backing in a little fade away off the back iron. No good, too strong. Juanetti grabbed the rebound, but one of his feet went out of bounds. So the Austin Bulldogs still have it. Baines to throw it in along the baseline. Crockett trying to disrupt his passing lane. There is Harris. That full court press by Travis caused a problem at the first, but the dogs were able to break it. And now the ball gets loose and it's simply a turnover on the Austin Bulldogs. No foul called. 4-10 to go in quarter number one and it's Travis 12 and the Bulldogs six. Jeremy Lusk comes in for the Bulldogs. Zach Martinez moves over to the right sideline. Now he gets into the forecourt to Juan Eddy. Now they get it to Thomas Graham touching the ball for the first time. Crockett back out to number two Martinez. That being Alex. But the rebound goes to Austin and quickly down the floor go the dogs and Brian Anune takes it to the rack. He's fouled and misses the shot. He'll go to the line for two. 12 to six, Travis on top, 3.47 to go. Austin comes in with a record of nine and six in their pre-district games and the Tigers were 11 and seven. And the first free throw by Anune is no good. Fifty-five forty-three was our score in the earlier game, Bush defeating Dulles. Everybody in District 26A starting their district schedule tonight. Second free throw is also missed and Cameron Crockett brings it into the forecourt. Alex Martinez directing traffic. Now the ball is in the hands of Thomas Graham. Juanetti almost guilty of an over and back call. Cameron Crockett sends it over to the left side and a shot up and no good but a foul called. I'm a little bit obstructed. It was Juanetti who went up strong and was fouled in the act of shooting. So he'll go to the line and try to up the lead of 12 to six that Travis now enjoys. First free throw, no good. Coming in for Travis. You got Jacob Jones and he's in for Thomas Graham. Juanetti's second free throw. Also missed in the rebound to the dogs, Brian Anuni. Here comes Ethan Toe into the forecourt. Guarded by the much taller Cameron Crockett. Now it's a handoff to Lusk. Lusk gets it to Tylen Harris and they work the perimeter deep in the corner to Noah Vare. Passes up the shot. Now Tylen Harris has it. Drives to the left elbow. Back out to Vare. Hands it in the corner to Tylen Harris. Now toe, top of the key, way over to the other side. Lusk backing in. Drives to the left, restraining line, and then the pass too low for Brian Anune. Goes out of bounds. Turnover by the Dogs. It's still 12 to 6. Travis on top, 246 to go in quarter number one. Alex Martinez bringing it up the floor and has it poked away from behind. Ball goes out of bounds and it belongs to the dogs. Evidently Alex was trying to save it and could not. So Lusk inbounds it to Harris. Harris goes right through the free throw circle. Dipsy do move off the glass from the right side and good to get the dogs within 12 to eight. And a little backcourt pressure by Lusk on Alex Martinez and now Harris accidentally knocked Alex Martinez down and that is a clear foul but on the floor, which of course is where uh, Alex Martinez ended up. Crockett to inbound, the sideline on the right. By the way, very cozy along the sidelines here at the gym at Austin. And so even though it doesn't have a huge capacity, it can really make a difference when the home team fans are filling it up and making a lot of noise. 
Zach Martinez over to his brother Alex. Turns around right restraining line and rattles it home for a two pointer to make it 14 to eight. And the Travis Tigers now leading by six again. Jeremy Lusk down the right sideline all the way over to Ethan Toe who's directing traffic. Gets the ball to Harris. Harris guarded by Justin Mack just in for Travis. And a baseline pass stolen away by Travis. Zach Martinez gets it ahead to Justin Mack, but there was a foul. Zach Martinez was trying to make his way up the floor, and he was bumped from behind. But it's... I'm not in a very good position to see the number of fingers that the official holds up. Travis inbounded from the right sideline. Zach Martinez throws it across the timeline to Nick Carroll, who's entered the game. Carroll thought about a three. Now dribbles to his right, guarded by Lux. Lusk, he's near the center court stripe. Gives the ball up, now gets it back. Zach Martinez sends it back to the top of the key to Nick Carroll. There's Cameron Crockett driving into the paint, puts it up, and he's hit as he goes to the rack. The shot is no good, but he'll get two shots. A lot of fouls here early by both teams. The scoreboard, however, does not give us an opportunity to see the number of team fouls, but you know what? I have learned the hard way, I have to say, that I really should set up at the other end because at the other end, I can see the better scoreboard. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to switch positions when... Uh, we take a, a commercial break, maybe at the end of this quarter. One free throw is good, 15 to eight Travis, but then the dogs quickly back down the floor, get a basket from Brian Anune, and they trail now by only 15 to 10. Here comes Cameron, or Cameron Crockett down the left sideline. Gets the ball to Carroll who drives into the paint. He's hammered as he tries to score. This a very physical game. Already, 51 seconds to go in quarter number one, and the Travis Tigers leading the host Austin Bulldogs 15 to 10. Christopher Owar didn't think a call was necessary, and he's letting an official uh, hear it while the first free throw goes up by Carroll, and it's no good. Welcome to the dog pound. They're settling it that way. Carroll misses a free throw. Wow, everybody's just ice cold from the charity stripe here early on. Quickly up the floor goes Brian Anune. Now he gives it off to Baines. Baines moves over to the right corner trying to get free. Goes to the right elbow, kicks it out to Toe. Toe back over to Vere. Now around the corn, uh, horn to Lusk. Kicks it back out to Baines for a three, and it's good. Dogs within two, it's 15-13 Travis. Zach Martinez double teamed in the backcourt. Now cross court pass to Cameron Crockett, gets it across the timeline. He's hit as he goes up and he is fouled with 15.7 to go. Travis leading 15 to 13. Yeah, I can see now that being at the other end would be better. A lot more information on the scoreboard that you can see at that end. I'm gonna have to carry a laptop and a chair 94 feet when we have a commercial break. First free throw is no good by Cameron Crockett. Wow, he's, uh, the free throw game is just not working for either team, not yet anyway. Crockett's second free throw rattles out. And the rebound to Beret, 13 seconds to go. The dogs push it, Lusk into the free throw circle. Kicked it out to Baines, thought about the three, but he traveled with 7.4 to go. And Travis has a chance to take the last shot. And Travis brings in Bradley Chikiri. Carroll to inbound, they got 94 feet to go. Into Carroll, I'm sorry, Cameron Crockett. And he's gonna put it up. No, he passes off and Travis doesn't get a shot off. Justin Mack had the ball in his hands, but they threw it to him too late. And we'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. You work hard. 
So you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12 6 Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Welcome back to quarter number two. 15-13 is the lead for the Travis Tigers here against the Austin Bulldogs. Travis trying to, trying to get back to the playoffs. And Austin in its second year under coach Christopher O'War looks like a much improved team from last year. Travis gets the ball to start this second quarter. Justin Mack playing point guard for them. Cameron Crockett near the right sideline. Gets it to Carroll near the center court circle and it's off his foot stolen by Lusk. Lusk goes in strong, blew the bunny from the left side. Travis gets it back, still leading 15 to 13. And Carroll carried the basketball. Turnover by the Scarlet and Gray Tigers. And no argument from Carroll or anyone on the Travis side. They realize that he did indeed carry the basketball. Lusk inbounds it to Ethan Toe. Ethan Toe is a sharp shooter from outside. The fans get excited every time he gets the ball in his hands from three-point land and he launches it there, in and out. However, rebound to Crockett of Travis, looking down the floor. And he backs up, step back three, rattles out, no good. Rebound Travis, but a travel on the part of the man who got the rebound, Bradley Chikiri. So we're still stuck at 15 to 13, 7-11 to go before halftime. Lusk with the basketball, moving up to the left elbow. Toe faked a three from the left corner. Now Lusk tries a three. It's off the back iron and no good. And the rebound to Travis. Here comes Crockett, gets it over to Justin Mack with a floater and it rattles home. It's good, 17 to 13. Travis on top. Little bit of full court press by Travis. Ethan Toe drives past Justin Mack. Now he still has it, kicks it back out to Lusk. Now it's Baines in the left corner. Now around the horn they go. Lusk and it's Veray for three, short. No good and a great save of the rebound. Baines ends up with it. Now it's Veray again. He's hit when he shot it, no call. Austin fans can't believe it. Here comes Travis leading 17 to 13. There goes Mack. Right through the lane like a knife through hot butter. And it's 19 to 13, Travis on top. Here comes Baines across the midcourt stripe. Sends it to toe, launches a three, triple toe. Want to say hello to Scott Hamilton listening in California. Who's wondering if will he get to go to the Olympics later, well, well I'd say early in 2022. We'll see. 19 to 16 is the Travis lead after the three by Ethan Toe. Carroll jump stop and can't get the shot away and now it's stolen away. Here comes Brian Anune all the way in a slam dunk with two hands. Brian Anune electrifying the crowd. Big noise here inside the gym and it's 19-18 Travis. And Cameron Crockett goes to the rack. And a late whistle. And several players back in. Starters, the Martinez twins. Also Juanetti. But you have Jacob Jones out there. Stand 6-5 for Travis. It is Zach Martinez in the corner. Right in front of us, Jerry Milusk on him. Now Alex Martinez has it. 
Around the horn goes Travis, trying to pull out the defense a little bit. Now, it is Zach Martinez. They kind of reset the offense, and Baines is guarding him as he moves right over in front of the Austin bench. Toe on him as the Dogs make a nice defensive switch. 4.47 to go in the first half. 19 to 18 on Travis on top of the Austin Bulldogs. Zach Martinez way above the top of the key, too far out to shoot. And now Justin Mack hits a three to make it 22 to 18, Tigers on top of the Dogs. Baines dribbling the ball up the floor. Sends it to Toe in the corner and a blocking foul is called on Zach Martinez. So what a great combination of different colors here inside the gym. You got people wearing Christmas outfits. You got a lot of red and green. Some of the red is Travis red. The dogs are red and black, but most of their fans like to wear black. Now their team inbounds the ball. Bulldogs trailing 22 to 18, closing in on the four minute mark. Ethan Toe around the horn, gets it to Vare. Back to Toe. Left wing thought about the three, trying to get away from his defender, launches it. Yes! Nothing but net on the triple toe. That makes it a one point game, 22 to 21, Travis on top. Third three pointer of the game for Ethan Toe of the Bulldogs. Alex Martinez guarded by Tylen Harris and a shot up no good by Travis and Tylen Harris trying to go through the middle of the defense has to reroute himself and he is fouled by Zach Martinez. It'll be on the floor. No shots involved. Several substitutions, in fact, so many that I'm just not even gonna try to tell you who all of them are. Harris to inbound, slaps the basketball. And into Lusk, thought about the three from the right corner, kicks it back out to J Job Ogunlier. And he is bumped as he's shooting a fader from the right restraining line. And he's fouled in the act of shooting, so it'll be Agunlier going to the free throw line, and if he can hit them both, then the Dogs will have the lead. He hits the first one, we're tied at 22. Roger Smith with you on VibeFortBend.com. Earlier today, it was Bush on VibeFortBend.com, defeating Dulles 55-43. Second free throw is missed, so we're tied at 22. Wanegi, he is guilty of the offensive foul. Jason Wanetti went in hard and he knocked down Lusk. And he's guilty of the foul, and so with 3.23 to go, the Dogs will inbound at their own end, and they can score and put themselves ahead. Lusk gets a long pass in to Ogunlier and gives it back to Toe. Toe dribbles across the timeline, guarded by Mack, moves to his right, hands to Lusk. Travis making lots of defensive switches. Agunlier traveled. He kind of faked a pass while his foot was still dragging. And we're still tied at 22. 3.09 left in the first half. And Travis has it back. Justin Mack calling out a play for his head coach, Craig Brownson. Jacob Jones has it. Gets it to Alex Martinez, pass deflected, and the dogs steal it. Quickly ahead, Terrace Harris threw it away. He had Lusk ahead of him. Oh, actually, it was tipped out of bounds. Yeah, it was. That is what I thought I saw. It looked for a moment like they were going to hand it to the Bulldogs. But Travis has it back. Missed opportunity there for Austin. Alex Martinez, entry pass to Cameron Crockett. Dipsy do move, and Toe grabs the rebound of the missed shot. Quickly ahead, Agunlier all the way to the rack, and that's good, 24-22. Austin now leads it. Travis quickly back down the floor. Crockett stops in the lane and banks one off the glass, and an elbow into the chest of number 12, Brian Anuni of Austin. We're tied at 24. Toe to Lusk, and then to Anuni. 
Brian Anune. 26-24, Austin. There goes Mack, stops at the left elbow, kicks it back out to a teammate. Three-pointer try, in and out, no good by Brian Scott. And a follow is good by Travis's Cameron Crockett. And the ball poked out of bounds as the dogs try to get it back up the floor. We've got 152 to go and what a game we're having. It is 26 all. Our first game, Bush and Dulles were tied at 11 after one quarter. After that, the Bush Broncos opened up an 18 point lead after three quarters. Dulles made it a little closer, but no real drama. And we like drama. Ethan Toe was fouled in the backcourt and goes to the line for the dogs to untie it. It's 26 all. Toe, deep knee bend, free throw off the side rim, no good. Free throw shooting for both teams has been awful. Cameron Crockett driving, pulls up at the right elbow and babies it, can't get it to go. Now Tylen Harris ends up with it after a Agunlier got a good rebound. And off the left side, tough luck shot by Harris, couldn't get it to go and here comes Travis. And Alex Martinez knocks toe down, no call, a lot of contact. Left elbow, Martinez up, no good. Crockett to follow. 28 to 26, Travis on top with 118 to go in the half. Lust to inbound it and a timeout taken by Travis. We'll take it with him. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max and OfficeDepot.com. Office Depot in Sugarland, uh, Williams Trace and Southwest Freeway, and they take care of business every day so we can bring you Fort Bend County sports every week. We got a good one here. 28-26 Travis over Austin and the Dogs inbound at their own end and move the ball away from us. Trying to get the tying or go-ahead basket. Lusk to toe, thought about the three at the top of the key. Now Harris down the baseline is blocked. And heavy contact and the ball goes out of bounds. I think it's gonna belong to the Dogs. Not really sure what happened. I guess uh, it's a foul call. Good news for the Dogs is Joe Bogunlier. A senior will go to the line, stands there with hands on hips. All the Dogs wearing red shoes. And the free throw, you guessed it, missed. Still 28-26, Travis. We got 55 seconds to go and quickly into the lane goes Martinez, meaning Alex Martinez, and he committed an offensive foul. 51.8 to go. I don't know if you could hear two players hit the floor, but it was pretty loud. We have a little bit different setup tonight. Typically we have uh, a crowd mic, but because we needed to do a five o'clock game and then pack up and move to another location and do a seven o'clock game, we had to keep the simpler setup. Now the officials calling for a towel so they can wipe up the moisture in the paint. And we'll have Varey coming in for Austin as soon as the people at the scores table and the officials say it's okay. Varey comes in to replace Ogunlier. <coughs> Dogs trailing 28 to 26 in the final minute of the second quarter. Toe has the basketball, cross court pass to Baines. Now to Harris, back to Baines. Top of the key, thought about the three. Toe is too far out. And Austin throws it away. Harris was looking for Baines in the left corner and thought he was going to cut the other way. That's a bad break 
for the Bulldogs. They press in the backcourt with 32.4 to go. And Travis looks like they can have the last possession of this second quarter. Pressure in the backcourt. Cameron Crockett up the left sideline. Cuts into the circle and he goes ahead and puts it up off the back iron. No good. And Crockett going to rebound his own miss. Knocked it out of bounds. It'll actually be Austin getting the final possession of the second quarter. It's 28-26, Travis. Ethan Toe walks it across the timeline. Clock at 12. Gives it to Baines. Baines to Vare. Around the perimeter. Now it's Toe. Deep in the corner. Harris. Will he launch it? Three seconds left. And he has one last chance. Miracle shot! Underneath the basket. Behind the backboard. Dipsy do Off the glass. And it's good. Yes, it counts. And we are tied at 28, and there's a foul on the play. So we're not tied necessarily going to halftime. It'll be Tylen Harris going to the line with nobody standing near him. He put that shot in as the buzzer went. And his free throw could untie it before they go to the locker room. It's good. Dogs go to the halftime break with the lead. And actually, time had not expired. There are two tenths of a second on the clock. And so Travis is going to inbound it 94 feet away from the basket at which they're shooting. What? What is going on? Harris is going back to the line, and now they say that first free throw, I guess, didn't count because time had not completely expired. So the clock uh, scoreboard is going to go back to 28 all, and now that previous free throw, which did not matter, did not count, now Harris shoots the free throw for real, and that is good, 29-28. Travis inbounds with two-tenths to go. They throw it down the floor, not close, and there you go. I'm kind of surprised the Dogs fans didn't have a big ovation for their team. Great half. They came from six points down early to keep it close all the way throughout the second quarter. And they end up with a lead of 29 to 28. And we're going to go to the halftime break. Roger Smith with you on VibeFortBend.com. Glad you're with us. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of Savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com. 
Become a Vibe Insider today. Access breaking news in high school sports. Enjoy premium articles and exclusive coverage written by expert analysts and watch exclusive videos, documentaries on programs in your area. It's only $2.99 a month if you subscribe for the monthly plan. If you go for the yearly plan, it rounds out to just $1.99 a month. It costs you only $24 a year to get all of your Vibe news throughout the entire year subscribe today what are you waiting for it's less than a cup of coffee a month become a vibe insider 2.99 a month 23.99 for the whole year hey it's vibe we will see you at the games you work hard so you deserve the good things in life like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet that's why there's never been a better time to switch to xfinity Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay, and 12 6 Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra, and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Back inside the gym at Austin High School, where the host Bulldogs are leading the Travis Tigers 29-28 at halftime. I'm Roger Smith. This is VibeFortBend.com. And we want to invite you to be with us on Monday afternoon. How about this? Let's say, uh, I don't know, maybe you're in your house waiting for family to arrive or something. Maybe uh, maybe your kid's home from college and then he says, uh, I want to go out and hang with my friends. And, you know, maybe you're stuck at the house by yourself. We'll turn on our game between Hightower and Foster, which will start at 1 p.m. Or you can li- listen to the podcast of this basketball game between Travis and Austin. And by the way, speaking of podcasts, you can also listen to the podcast of the game in which the Bush Broncos beat Dulles this afternoon, 55 to 43. That one was close after one quarter. Dulles and Bush were tied at 11. But then, let's see, in the second and third quarters, Bush outscored Dulles by a score of 35 to 17. So they had an 18 point lead after three quarters and the Vikings did keep trying. They kept fighting and they got within eight points during the fourth quarter, but Bush was able to hold them off and the Broncos get a victory in their district 26A opener, 55 to 43. Tonight's game between Austin and Travis is the district 26A opener for both of these teams as well. Those of you who might be unfamiliar, we are VibeFortBend.com. We are your broadcast home for Fort Bend ISD sports. And we cover all of the Fort Bend ISD teams, all 11 teams as often as we possibly can. So we can't get any teams every single game, but we get as many of them as we can. We also cover a little bit of Fulcher and a little bit of Foster when we can, especially when they are matched up against our Fort Bend ISD teams. So listen for that high tower game against Foster. Should be a very good one coming your way at 1 o'clock. In fact, we'll give you the countdown to tip-off show at um, 1245 on Monday afternoon here on VibeFortBend.com. And then pretty much everybody in Fort Bend ISD and Fort Bend County is going to take a break from our high school sports as they celebrate Christmas. And then once the Christmas weekend has passed, then we'll get back into things on the 27th of December. And check out the Vipe Twitter page and Facebook, and they will always let you know which games we're doing. And I also like to send out emails and let people know which games we're doing as well. Roger Smith with you at halftime. We'll take another break and be back. Bulldogs leading Travis 29 to 28. And we'll return on VibeFortMen.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life. Like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. 
That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12621. Restrictions apply. New connect internet 50 megabits for second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity 600 megabits per second to AT&T 500 megabits per second, each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10621. Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. All of us love sports. But not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. What is Vipe Live? Vipe Live is one of the largest and most respected broadcast and live stream networks in the state of Texas. Vipe Live broadcasts any sport you can think of for youngsters of any age, from Pee Wee and Pop Warner to high school, club, college, semi-pro, and beyond. We also broadcast plenty of academic, fine arts, and community-related events as well, and now as partners with Flow Sports. Email us at info at vipemedia.com to find out more. Vipe Live, we bring your teams to you. Welcome back inside the gym at Austin. You know, the crowd is continuing to get bigger and bigger as this game goes on. Yes, if you could plug that in, that would be great. I thought my laptop would make it the whole game, but uh, better juice it back up. Thank you. So the dogs get the ball first. I've switched ends of the floor because the scoreboard that you can see from uh, what I guess is the east end gives you a better view. And the dogs score quickly on their first possession as Harris knifes to the hoop. And it's now a three point lead, but Cameron Crockett is ahead of the dogs defense. He does a jump stop and he's fouled by Joe Bogunlier. But it's on the floor and Zach Martinez will throw the ball in from the baseline. Martinez almost left his feet as he faked a pass, and now he gets it into Cameron Crockett. Crockett trying to drive around Baines, step back, two-pointer, no good, rebound, Harris. Here come the dogs leading by three and trying to up the lead, and Harris called for an offensive foul, I guess uh, one of his teammates with a moving pick. Two fouls already by the Bulldogs here in the second half. They apply some pressure to the Tigers. And Zach Martinez throws a cross-court pass to Crockett. Crockett, hesitation move down the right restraining line. Off the glass and a shot rolls out. Rebound comes down to Anune. Here come the Dogs attacking. Agunlie puts it up. Players go down. No whistle. Travis gets a rebound and a missed shot. Here comes Mack, pulls up at the free throw line. Now Crockett, three from the corner, good! And we're tied at 31. 
Ethan Toe has the ball now for Austin. He had three three-pointers in the first half. Cross-court pass to Harris, guarded by Zach Martinez into the free throw circle. Now Harris backs out, gets it to Toe in the right corner. Now it is a spin move by Harris, and he lost the ball going up. It was knocked away by Mack. There goes Crockett. Back door, finger roll, and it's good. 33-31, Travis. The Tigers have scored five straight points to take a two-point lead. Ethan Toe guarded by Mack. Now it is Baines in the right corner, double teamed. He's trapped, and it is almost stolen away. Ball loose, and Baines gets it back. Now Harris from the left corner. It's short, no good. Rebound fought for Zach Martinez. Gets it to Mack, and here come the Tigers. Underhand scoop pass over into the right corner to Brian Scott. Can't get the shot he wants, so he gets it to Zach Martinez. Travis leading 33 to 31. Carroll almost lost it, or Mack, I should say, almost lost it. Crockett between the rings, drives to the right elbow, step back from the free throw line, rattles around and goes down. Cameron Crockett scores to make it 35-31. Timeout taken by the Bulldogs. They were up 35, I'm sorry, they were up 31 to 28, but the Tigers have just scored seven straight points. We've got 539 to go in the third. This is VibeFortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12621. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet, 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity, 600 megabits per second to at and 500 megabits per second, each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10621. Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. And we're back. Austin trying to get the momentum back. They were up 31 to 28 and they had a chance to increase the lead one of their possessions ended with an offensive foul and now they're down 35 31 and inbounding in their own end and Travis applying the defensive pressure Ethan Toe gets it ahead to Baines who moves it across the midcourt stripe now back to Toe calling out instructions gets a pick free for a moment top of the key launches a three triple toe that's his fourth of the game a near steal in the backcourt by Baines. Travis still with possession. Leading 35-34, now they get into the forecourt. Cameron Crockett thought about the three, goes into the paint, step back, that would have been a two, but he held on to the ball, now hands it to Mack. Cross-court uh, pass back to Crockett. Zach Martinez moving to his right. Martinez has it back after the, giving the ball up. There goes Crockett, spin through the lane, rolls it up, no good. Rebound put up by Wanecki, it's no good. Baines grabs the rebound for the dogs, they can take the lead. Quickly ahead, Agunlie puts it up, he misses, but he's fouled. He'll go to the line for two, and Joe Agunlie, if he's patient, can give the dogs the lead. Did you see what I did there, Old Testament fans? Agunlie, well, he, he wasn't patient. Job was not patient shooting the first free throw. He just shot it like, uh, like he had an appointment to keep or a plane to catch. He made the first one. The second one rolls off. So we're tied at 35. Crop it up, Crockett up the middle of the floor. Gets it over to Justin Mack. Mack now back to Crockett. Right restraining line, puts it up strong. He's fouled by Ogunlie and scores. Two and a foul. And it's 37-35, Travis. And Cameron Crockett will go to the line. His free throw is good, completing the three-point play. Anune inbounds it to Tylen Harris. Gets around Zach Martinez to get into the front court. 
Toe thought about the three. Drives to his right. Can't get the shot he wants. Hands it to Harris. Guarded by Zach Martinez. Pick that gets Martinez free. Now it's a Gunlier. Now a cross-court pass to Baines. Now baseline. Bryant Anune was fouled on the floor. And the Austin Bulldogs will inbound it along the baseline with Ethan Toe. Gets it into Anune. Now Harris. Side-to-side -side dribble. Martinez. Zach Martinez, that is. Maintaining defensive possession. Position. Terrace looks, uh, Harris looks inside, can't get he wants. Now Anune traveled before he made his move to the hoop. He was trying to get around Thomas Graham, a good defensive specialist for the Travis Tigers who lead at 38-35. 3.47 to go in quarter number three. Austin, pressure in the backcourt. Crockett gets through it, kills his dribble, gets it to Mack, launches one from the corner, and toe the rebound, the long rebound after the missed three. There goes Harris right down the middle. His path is blocked near the top of the key, but toe puts it up. He missed with that one, and Crockett runs down the rebound. 38-35, Travis. Justin Mack sends it to the corner. Shot on the way. No good by Brian Scott, and the Dogs get the rebound. Harris pushing it. There he goes, reroutes himself. He's in the right corner, almost trapped. Vare, who just came into the game, sends it back to Toe. Three on the way. Yes! And we're tied at 38. And Travis with a turnover, an unforced error. Brian Scott had his back to the sideline right in front of Austin students who are giving him you know what. And uh, I don't know if it rattled him, but I do know he lost the ball or put his heel on the sideline. We're tied at 38, 2.47 to go in the third, and the Dogs have the ball back. Harris holding it near the right sideline, right in front of his team's bench. And there is Anune, almost lost it, went off his foot, but it rolled to Harris. Harris to toe, thought about the three. Beret for three, yes! 41 to 38. The dogs are in this game because of the three-pointers. Toe has five. And there is a nice hesitation move. Cameron Crockett inside scores to get within 41 to 40. Closing in on the two minute mark of the third quarter. Lusk into the game. Stops at the top of the key. Gives the ball to Harris. Between the feet dribble. Over to the corner. Veray launches one. He's got two threes in a row. And that's the dog's biggest lead. 44 to 40. The basketball program is going in a very positive direction here at Austin. Can they get the victory here tonight over Travis? Cameron Crockett. Near the baseline, twisting, turning, back door, off the glass, and it's good. And the Travis fans love it. That makes it 44-42. There goes Harris, quickly through the defense, puts it up to the left side, too hard off the glass. Nowecki gets the ball. One eddy. And Lusk committing a foul in the backcourt. Jeremy Lusk fouling Jason Wanetti. But it's on the floor. And so Travis inbounds with less than a minute and a half left in the third. Cameron Crockett moving right. Way back across the court. Zach Martinez to Alex Martinez. And it is swatted into the stands. Brian Anune. You'll never get rejected worse than that. Even at a junior high dance. One Eddie inbounds it. And it's almost stolen, but Zach Martinez comes down with it. And Harris called for a foul. He really just thought that uh, he was going for the ball. I don't know if I could take that kind of rejection, said George McFly and me just now. Dogs leading, 44 to 42. Travis to inbound from the left side of the court. 
the one that is opposite the benches. Wow, Anuni really got all of that one. It sounded like he blocked a punt in a football game. Inbound to Alex Martinez, back to Crockett, thinking about the three, Lusk on him. Side to side dribble, top of the key three, no good, rebound fought for, one Eddie lost it, Toe has it. Less than a minute to go in the third, 44-42, Austin on top, and they move the ball into the forecourt. Toe sends it to Baines, left corner, thought about the three, gives it back to Toe. Now it's Anune, near the top of the key, back to Toe. Is he gonna launch the three? No, it's back to Baines. Still has it, 40 seconds left in the quarter. Now they're on the right side of the court. Toe looking around for the right kind of opening. Inside to Anune! The almost alley-oop! He didn't duck it, but he did shoot it before he came back down. It's good to make it 46-42. Alex Martinez, no call, but Lusk steals it away, and he is bumped in the open court. Lusk is bumped in the open court. Let me see if I can identify the person committing the foul. And I believe that it was Zach Martinez. 46-42, Austin. 16 seconds left in the quarter. They inbound from the far side. Now Toe gets it over to Baines. 11 seconds left. Baines to Vare. Vare gives it to Toe. Can't get free. Pass tipped. Anuni has it near the free throw line. Toe shoots with three seconds left. In the pass, the shot is blocked. And a long shot down the court is short by Travis. And when we start the fourth quarter, it'll be Austin 46. Travis 42, this is VipeFortBend.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com. Well, we're about to play the final eight minutes of regulation, and if this game went to overtime, I wouldn't be surprised. Very close game throughout. Travis had a six-point lead during the first half. That's the biggest lead that either team has had, and Cameron Crockett will inbound for the Tigers to start the fourth quarter. Justin Mack, guarded by Baines. Cross-court pass, Alex Martinez. Now back to Mack. He's near the center court circle, looking inside. Can't get the pass that he wants. And sends it over to Alex Martinez. Kills his dribble, guarded by Lusk. Gets it back to Mack. Just the guards handling it here early in the fourth for Travis. Now it is Juanetti from the corner. Fakes the three and puts one up that is tipped. A pass that was tipped and Jacob Jones ended up with it and scored for Travis. That gets the Tigers within two. It is 46 to 44, Austin. There goes Lusk through the free throw circle. Back to Baines, left corner three. Good. 49-44. Here comes Cam Cameron Crockett leading the Tigers back down the floor. Justin Mack trying to get around Anune. Vare blocking him, but what a shot there by Justin Mack. Fading away and being bumped, but no foul call. Toe, Anuni, and Les bringing the ball up the floor for the Bulldogs who lead it 49-46. Lusk guarded by Alex Martinez. Kills his dribble near the top of the key, gives the ball to Baines. Now to Toe, between the rings. Out of even his range, gets a pick from Anuni. Hands the ball to Lusk. They continue to work the perimeter and try and open up something inside. Now it's for Ray in the right corner, back to Lusk on the right wing. Alley-oop for Anuni and off his hand. Just a little bit out of his reach. Under six and a half minutes to go in a good ball game. 
49-46, Austin on top. Tigers bringing the ball up the floor. If they find a three, they could take or tie this game up again. Juan Eddy in the middle of the court, driving in on Anune. Leaves it off there for Jones, and Jones rattles it home off the glass. It's 49-48. Dogs lead reduced to one. They bring it into the forecourt. Ethan Toe to Lusk. Lusk hands it to Harris. Travis fans counting on their team to D up. Toe, three on the way. Too long, no good. Rebound comes down to Travis. Mack grabs it. Here come the Tigers behind the back dribble. Mack stops at the free throw line. Gives it back to Crockett. Thought about a 35 footer and wisely decided against it. Five and a half minutes to go. There goes Mack, left restraining line off the glass and it's good. Travis has the lead, 50 to 49. There goes Harris for two, three, too long. Crockett skies high for the rebound. And we have a whistle, I think either Varey or Lusk fouled him as he came back down. So Travis has scored the last six points and they lead it 50 to 49 after Austin had led 49-44. We've got 5.15 left. Mack receives the inbounds pass. One Eddie, now Crockett. Left restraining line and too hard off the glass. No good. Rebound Anuni. Gets it ahead to Harris. Dogs on the move, pushing it. Over in the corner. Baines launches the three. Short, no good. Rebound to Mack. Here comes Travis. Mack driving in on toe, launches it up, and a feathery soft floater goes in. And Travis now leads it by three, 52 to 49. Timeout Austin will be back on VipeFortBend.com. 4.48 to go. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. All right, we're back. The Austin Bulldogs have surrendered the last eight points of this game, and they trail 52 to 49 with 4.48 left, and they really don't want to send this, this enthusiastic home crowd home disappointed. Harris with the ball in the forecourt. Vare launches a two-pointer, and it's way short. Didn't get anything, it was an air ball. Here come the Tigers as Alex Martinez brings it up the floor. Ethan Toe thought he had drawn a charge. He goes down hard, and he is the one who committed the foul. Seven fouls committed by the Bulldogs in the second half, only two by Travis. So Travis has the benefit of being in the bonus. So Justin Mack, just a sophomore, steps up to try and expand the lead. First free throw goes in and out, and the rebound to the dogs, and Nooney grabs it. So a missed opportunity, the lead is still three. It's a one possession game. Harris turns around and gives it to Baines. Near the top of the key, guarded by Crockett, who is much taller. Now Toe has it, and it's an alley-oop for Anuni. Kicks it back out to Baines, in the left corner, no good. Rebound to Alex Martinez, pushing it up the floor for Travis. Zigging and zagging. Now gets the ball to one Eddie. Now they go to the other side of the court to Mack. 
Four minutes to go and Travis still leading by three, 52 to 49. Jones now has it. Jacob throws it back to Justin Mack, who's a good ball handler. Now one Eddie thinks about the three, tries to move his man out of the way. And he banks it off the glass from the left side. It's a five point game, 54 to 49. Baines has it guarded by Crockett. Correction, it's Harris guarded by Crockett. Gets into the forecourt. There goes Baines, puts it up, and it's an offensive foul on Baines of Austin. The Travis fans love it. They lead by five and they have the ball back with 3.33 to go. And another timeout taken by Austin. We'll take it with them. This is VibeFortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12 6 Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Enthusiastic crowd on hand here inside the Austin gym. The Bulldogs have played a great game so far, but in the last couple of minutes, they have fallen behind by five points. It is 54 to 49. Travis on top with 3.33 to go, and the Tigers have the ball. 94 feet away from the basket at which they're shooting. Alex Martinez to inbound with Anune right in his face. Veray comes in to replace Lusk. And Martinez bounce pass into Crockett. Crockett guarded by Harris. Baines tries to double team him. Here comes Alex Martinez. What an A! Slam dunk with two hands! It's a seven point game and boy does Travis have the momentum. They've scored 12 straight points. Harris in the forecourt. Dogs need to do something soon. Harris between the feet dribble. Trying to get away from Mack. It's Beret in the corner. He's being hounded. Now it's back to Harris. Harris goes baseline, runs out of room, steps on the line. A turnover for Austin. Travis has everything going their way. Just under three minutes to go, 2.59, showing on the clock. Travis also has the benefit of being in the bonus. Any foul that's committed against them while they have the ball will result in free throws. Alex Martinez into the forecourt to Justin Mack who returns it to Alex. Now Mack to Jones. Jones double team, toe and Lust trying to take it away. And there's an inside move and off the glass to score by Wanetti. The lead is 58-49. Mayday, mayday, dogs. Do something quick. You're going down under two and a half minutes to go. Harris can't get around his man, throws it way cross court. Baines three, no good, rebound Anune. Anune goes up strong, off the glass too hard, and Anune taps it back to Toe. Toe gets it over there to Harris, jump stop move, and he puts it up, he's fouled as he shoots. He'll get two shots. But a long way to go and a short time to get there for the Dogs who trail 58-49. Sure would make it easier for them if Harris can hit two free throws here. First one, good. Nothing but net. Zach Martinez returns. His brother Alex comes out. Big free throw here for Harris. It's good. Nothing but that on that one too. 58-51, and the dogs will press. 
Mack meets a double team, gets the ball to Zach Martinez. And they just do get it over the timeline within the required 10 seconds. And it's a timeout taken by Travis. We'll take it again. Roger Smith with you on VibeFortBend.com. Seven point game, 153 to go. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. We see all you do to get work done, whether it's keeping your office clean or redesigning your space for three or 300. Our business is to keep business going. Buy online and pick up in store or get free next business day shipping at Office Depot, Office Max, and OfficeDepot.com. Seven point lead for Travis. Tigers inbound, one eddy. Cross court pass, almost stolen. Mack to Jones! Two hand dunk try, but it's blocked by Anune. And now a shot missed, and Anune collects the rebound. Gets the ball to Harris. Dog's got to hurry. 140 to go. There goes Harris. Bumped as he shoots. Off glass, no good. Rebound Mack for Travis. Toe guarding him in the backcourt. A ball almost stolen by the Dogs. And Crockett loses it out of bounds. Wait a minute. The official right in front of the Austin bench says the ball belongs to Travis. And the Austin coach, Christopher O'War, his staff, his players, nobody could believe that the call didn't go their way. They thought it last touched Cameron Crockett. Instead, a foul is called. And Crockett goes to the line with 129 on the clock. Two shots coming. It's 58-51. Travis with an opportunity to pretty much salt this one away. Here in peaceful, bucolic Pheasant Creek. It's been a great Friday night of basketball. Crockett hits the first free throw. First half free throws by both teams were horrible, but... Travis has hit clutch ones here at the end when they've needed them. And one more coming for Cameron Crockett. Wearing the number five that Cameron Oliver wore last year. What a great two sport star Cameron Oliver was. Second free throw is missed. And the ball goes out of bounds and the official says it belongs to Travis. Anuni and the dogs can't believe it. Zach Martinez to throw it in. Gets it to Mack in the corner and moves out of there. Just wants to spin clock. Travis doesn't really need points. They just need to burn off some time. We're at 1.20 to go. Zach Martinez has it. Anuni guarding him. Back to Mack. And Anuni switches over. Almost a backcourt foul, a backcourt call over and back against Crockett. But Mack with a side-to-side -side dribble to get away from defenders. Mike Baines guarding Zach. Martinez and to the lane and to the glass he goes. Banks it in. It is 61-51. That's probably checkmate right there, but another timeout called by the Austin Bulldogs. We'll be back on VipeFortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. 
Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay, and 12 6 Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra, and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Remember, it's always free to listen live and listen later on the podcast at VipeFortBend.com. Travis leading 61 to 51 with 58 seconds remaining. Mike Baines to throw it in for the dogs, gets it to Harris. Travis does not want to commit any fouls. Behind the back dribble by Harris. Tries to get the ball to Baines. He does, but Baines was fouled. He, his feet went out from under him. I'm not sure who the foul was called on, but it's only the fourth of the half committed by Travis. And therefore, it's just an inbounding of the ball to Harris in the right corner, trying to get around Martinez. And Vare ends up within left corner. Now back to Harris, three-pointer short. Zach Martinez has it, throws it way down the floor to Mack. Mack to a wide open Jones, and the finger roll spins in. It is 63 to 51, a half a minute to go. And the Tigers are gonna come out of here with a win. Austin really made them work. Back door layup and a beauty by Harris to get it back to 10 points. Zach Martinez calls timeout because he was having trouble inbounding the ball. We'll take it with him and be back on VibeFortBend.com. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Fans, I am a customer of Bradley Stavano and the Needville Insurance Agency. They got me the best rate on my car insurance. And in 2022, I'm going to switch over my home insurance as well. 15 seconds left. Travis just trying to run out the clock. Cameron Crockett is fouled in the backcourt. And just into the game, Akash Jayan of the Bulldogs commits the foul on Cameron Crockett. And it's probably going to be a double-figure loss for the Austin Bulldogs, but that will not reflect just how close this game has been throughout. Crockett's first free throw is good. 64 to 53. As 12 and a half seconds showing on the clock. And a timeout is taken before Crockett shoots the second free throw. We'll be back. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. seconds to go before the end of this one and the Travis Tigers will earn a hard fought win. Very enthusiastic fans from both sides here in peaceful bucolic Pheasant Creek. Crockett second free throw, swish, 65-53. Harris chases the ball down near the right sideline trying to get one basket before we go. Layup is good, seven seconds to go. Travis just letting the time bleed down. And that's that. So congratulations to the Travis Tigers. They win it tonight by a score of 65 to 55. And they improve their record to 12 and seven. Austin falls to nine and seven, but more important for Travis than that uh, 12 and seven record is the fact 
that they are now 1-0 in District 26A play. So are the Bush Broncos. Looking forward to a very action-packed schedule of basketball in District 26A. So for Rosie Bega, Suna Venkat, Merle Bertrand, and the entire VibeFortBend.com team, Roger Smith saying thank you for being with us. Our final in this game, 65-55, Travis beats Austin. In our earlier game, 55-43, Bush beat Dulles. And we'll join you on Monday at 1 o'clock as the Hightower Hurricanes host Foster on VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County sports. Merry Christmas, everybody. Good night.